Okay, so we'll move over to the receive section of the realistic TRC 1001 1981 handheld CB radio on the UK 2781 system. So we've already aligned the transmitter and the VFO. Now referring to the service manual once again, which is there we go, real service manual. Very versatile manuals, these. It suggests here that we do the detector first. Now, my training, and I've been years and years in professional two-way radio, as well as doing citizens band two-way radio, would to be to do the detector last. Anyway, the manual says do it first, and do it first we therefore shall. So we'll switch on the power supply. We'll put a really big signal on the signal generator, which is on channel 20, 27.79125. We're plugged into the extra, into the uh, test set through the uh, accessory jacks there. And what we're going to do, with it, we're going to look for transformer number four. And T4 is that one there. I'll just point it out with the yellow stick. In fact, we'll use a yellow stick, which is right next to the MC3357 receiver IF subsystem chip. So what we're looking for, I'll just switch uh, you onto the oscilloscope on picture in picture, is the biggest waveform we're going to achieve with that. You see it's gone smaller. So not only am I looking at that, I'm looking at the instrument readings as well. And that is indeed the biggest waveform we're going to get, which is excellent. Now we go through the sensitivity. Just switch that off. Although this particular signal generator is synthesized, it is a bit of a faff to, to set quickly. I do prefer the. We've got four RF test benches here, and uh, the other three have got signal generators where you select the. Uh, well, two of them use uh, thumb wheels and one's a schlumberger which uh, is direct entry with a, a screen so this is the biggest faff but this is the one I use for final alignment because this is the only test set believe it or not in this organization which we actually keep uh, calibrated and this uh, test set uh, goes back to 1982 so it's about as old as the uh, the radio we're working on it's so reliable we'll stay with it there we are 27.79125 we'll drop the attenuator down I'm going back to what the service manual says, it's T1, T2, T3 and T5 in that order. T1 is this one, there's the condenser microphone, just at the bottom there. T1 is that one, T2 is that one, T3 is that one. And T5 is that one. Remember, we've just done T4. So we'll just go through for maximum sensitivity. And there we've got it. The next thing we like to check, I'll just turn the volume down, you won't hear me over the uh, background noise there. I like to check that the squelch is set properly because there's nothing worse than having a, a radio where you set the squelch to maximum and no signal will ever open it. 
and I can't remember if it's even adjustable on these sets so I might be telling you a, a load of rubbish do you know what I think I'm telling you a load of rubbish because it's uh, there's there's no uh, preset for the squelch on this particular type of set but that's something we do on shall we say more normal sets and that concludes it so the receiver just recapping on the receiver we started off with the detector so that's a big really big signal on the signal generator just zoom in on these for you so that's the detector which we're looking for a really big signal we do it on channel 20 in this case it's 27 decimal 79125 we're looking for maximum audio output, the FM detector. And then, in this order, so it's the first one is Transformer 1. There's the condenser microphone. Transformer 1 is that one. Transformer 2 is that one. And Transformer 3 is just hiding there under the wiring loom. So we'll slide that up a bit. Transformer 5 was that one. And that concludes the realistic TRC 1001.